Hi everyone, it's Ginny. I'm back again, finally, to um, start a new project now. And that's going to be working on this big canvas. So, what I want to do is I'm going to start off by painting a background. So I've got my colours and my water and a brush. And I've also got a couple of colours I've pre-mixed, sort of. <laughs> in case I would need to use them and I'll get started and I'm thinking because this is going to take a long long time I will speed through this first part doing the background and then I'll um, slow it down and, and talk to you and as I work through the rest of what I want to do on it so this feels a bit weird. I haven't done any um, artwork or crafting for oh, I don't know how many weeks now because I've been busy um, doing the garden and cleaning inside the house. And so sort of in between there I've had a few days where I've not been feeling that great so I've needed to take it easy. I'm finally back. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to wet my brush and I'll get going. Hopefully you can see well enough there. I've sort of tried to um, angle it in a position where you'd be able to see most of it. So I'm going to mix a bit of paint and Oops, see how I go. same mix. <laughs> oh well. It will all work alright, hopefully. What I'm doing is um, trying to create a underwater background which I learned by watching Cinnamon Cooney. So I'm doing her technique, roughly. Probably nowhere near as well as she did, but I will try. I also looked at um, another artist called Mural Joe. And I tried having a go at um, doing his technique of underwater, which is simply beautiful, but I'm not experienced enough and it would take far too much practice for me to, you know, be able to do it anywhere near as well as he can. So I've given up and opted on doing this instead, which is pretty good. I like Cinnamon's way of doing stuff. Now I think I want some darker. I don't want to go too dark. So many of Cinnamon's videos and done some um, paintings with her, but 
<laughs> I know that's what she says, you know, you need to practice a lot and that's something I haven't been doing, so I need to do that a lot more. See this blending bit really gets me. It's going to take me a long time. That's from the white paint. Not good. There's also a few lumps in the canvas too. A few little um Yeah, it's just part of the canvas, the way it was made. to be careful not to get paint on the curtain. I tried before to um, put a white board up there that I've used before but then it blocked out too much of the light. So um, yeah, I've just got to be really careful not to splash because acrylic paint doesn't come out as I found with my clothing. <laughs> I got a lot of paint on my clothes. Which <clears throat> is why I wear um, pretty much the same clothes now for painting so that I, um, I don't mind if I get paint on them. wonky sweep there but that's alright I suppose. Oops, oops, I splashed water there. Right now I'm gonna go even darker. Let us see now. Don't splash the water on there. <laughs> I went a little 
too pale there now. I need it too darker. Although, for what I've got planned, a lot of this is going to be covered up anyway, so I suppose it doesn't matter too much. from that little splodge there, that's alright. So what I'll do is I'll dry it, go over and touch up a few parts and then I'll do the edges and then I'll come back and um, start doing the next bit. So see you again soon. Alright, that didn't go quite as planned, but um, it's okay now. I tried to touch up a few things and then I ended up wrecking it, so I had to go over it several more times and now it's ended up looking quite different than it did before, but it's okay. So I'll just bump you in a touch, find my glasses, so I can't see. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I put a lot more paint on, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I can still see patches where it shows through, but I shan't panic too much. Now, what I was thinking of doing is just dry brushing a bit of white on here and there. Oops, too much. Give it a bit of contrast in some places. It didn't help because the paintbrush was wet. going to be covered up pretty much anyway so I just didn't want it to be too flat looking down from up there which I think is going to be the most difficult thing for me to do <laughs> um, I've done a few sort of practice things and whatever I came up with didn't look that great to me but um, at the same time it wasn't too bad either so Hopefully, fingers crossed. <clears throat> so, what do I want? I want sort of a bit of sun here and a few rays coming down. I'm just wondering if that brush might be too difficult finding the right brush sometimes. <clears throat> this one's a little bit too hard maybe. Try this one. Oops, too much. I 
much on the paintbrush. You really only want a tiny bit. Because uh, again I was um, following Cinnamon Cooney and she was saying that you know it's always better to start with a very small amount and you can build up on it. <laughs> Shove a great big blob on there. There's not much you can do to um, fix that afterwards. sort of misty, fuzzy. <clears throat> this brush isn't that great. really not that good at doing this. Looks to me like a little kid's painting that's trying to do a sun in the sky. Still, you know, this isn't meant to be realistic, so I can always use that as my excuse. It's meant to be stylized. And of course the main important thing is that I'm having fun, so that's what matters most to me. He's enjoying the process. I'm always learning things as you go. That's better. Getting a little bit of a misty look. I don't even know if you can see this though. starting to get dark a bit outside now it's um oh it's just almost seven o'clock in the evening so we're on daylight savings now because it's spring which is good because that gives me a bit more evening time and daylight to do things. Hmm. Sort of stand back and look at it and it doesn't look that but I'll keep trying. to kind of 
kind of fade as it gets further away. Who knows how to do water reflecting through a water? Sunlight reflecting through water. Give me some tips, will you? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right, I might stop fiddling with that. Oh, hang on. Now I've said that, I want to do this. <laughs> on the outside. Yeah. Alright, I might stop playing with it and come back to it later. Because, you know, the more you stare at it, <laughs> the harder it is to see what you need to fix. So, sort of change my view for a while and come back and look at it later. Um, I'm kind of wishing I hadn't done this now. It's a bit harsh. Alright. Um, so I might set that aside to dry. I'll tidy this up a bit. And I'll come back with the next phase. See you soon. Okay, I'm back. And um, it's about a week later now. Because I got busy with lots of other things. But um, what I wanted to do next now is um, do a bit of stenciling. I wanted to put some seaweed on here. But I don't have anything that looks like seaweed and I don't have any stencils so I grabbed some um, an acetate box and I made my own stencils so and I've tried them out they seem to work okay so I'm going to do that with some modeling paste on either side <coughs> and um, yeah, <laughs> I'll do that. Hopefully it works out alright. I tested it on some paper and it seemed to work okay. So, off I go. <clears throat> I'm just hoping that's in the right place where I want it. I think that looks alright. Let's just move it over a little bit. Maybe put it on an angle. <coughs> have to be careful because some of these are a bit flappy and I'll have to hold them down. But here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> ah, now I can chat to you. Hopefully I can concentrate on this and chat to you at the same time. Um, to start with, it's a really beautiful day today. It's still quite cool, but the sun has been out all day and the sky is just a beautiful clear blue. And um, I had a doctor appointment 
earlier today. So we went to that and got to walk back home again afterwards. So I got my exercise in, <coughs> which was good. I have to apologise for my throat. It's really croaky today. So I'm just wondering whether it's actually allergies or something that's causing it. There's a lot of pollen and stuff in the air at the moment, being spring. And it seems like my, you know, needing to clean my throat all the time is worse than normal. So maybe that's it. Ooh. Sometimes putting too much paste on and then wiping it off too much again. I'll try and be a little bit <coughs> more delicate with it. <sighs> I'm not used to doing this. I was thinking I haven't used modelling paste in such a long time that it was about time I got it out and had a go again. <laughs> Oops. Canvas sinking in a bit too doesn't help. Let's try and smooth it out. <coughs> throat. <laughs> yeah, so what was I going to tell you? Just that I've been really busy trying to catch the garden up so that it was ready for spring and that involved um, putting down some manure, digging the garden bed over, which I had to do slowly crawling around on the ground. Um, and I actually moved a few dahlia bulbs as well so that I have a better distribution of colour in the garden. Oh, I'm not doing too good at this. <coughs> Alright, I think that'll do. Try and pull that up carefully. Ooh, not too bad, a little bit bumpy. But I guess that will have to do. I'll just wipe some of this, scrape some of this excess off. And um, I should clean this straight away. Don't know if I'm going to be using these all that much, but you never know. <coughs> I might do this other one and then I'll quickly go and stick them in some water so that they don't harden. Um, yeah, I don't want that up too high because of the sun rays. Yeah, so my garden, I've, I've got it pretty good now. Problem is that we didn't have all that um, much nice weather for me to get out there. It's been pretty awful so far for spring. It's been, we've had a lot of rain, which is good, I suppose, but um, not really nice for actually working outdoors in the garden. So I've been hampered by that. Um, otherwise I would have hopefully gotten things done a bit quicker. <coughs> They just lift it up then. I've got to be careful with this. Maybe I should go a little slower. Yeah. Um, so, a lot of rainy days, a lot of cold days, so I've been staying inside and doing some yucky cleaning that I hate doing but has to be done. And even with that, I'm, I'm not completely finished yet. I've done a lot of um, oops, sorting out cupboards, throwing things out that we don't use anymore, um, and then you know scrubbing all the cupboards out, 
cleaning them thoroughly, putting your shelf liner down, the whole thing that's involved in that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so far I've done the kitchen, although I do need to um, just go down nicely for me paste and stay nice. <laughs> Um, in the kitchen I have a, up on top of the cupboards, um, like the shelf on top of the cupboards on the wall, I have a collection of green bottles, or bottles that I've filled up with green liquid in all different shades of green. And I love them and I think they look really good up there, but they collect a lot of, um, because they're directly above the stove. And so they collect a lot of dust up there and um, a bit of grease from cooking <clears throat> and steam and all that. And so they get all sticky and yucky and so I have to pull all of those down and wash them thoroughly and clean the whole shelf. And I generally do that because it's a pretty big job. I generally only do that once a year. And um, oops, just shh, <laughs> we'll be in trouble. I just put a bit of modeling paste on the button to switch the camera back on. Ah, don't tell my hubby. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, you can tell towards the end of the year that the bottles really need doing and um, they're at that stage now they're just looking a bit shabby <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing wrong if I used too much paste or went at it too hard it's not smoothing out the best Oh, I tell you what though, I like that sort of mottled, I don't know, that'll do, stop fussing too much, <laughs> I hope it looks alright, I hope it looks reasonably like seaweed, there's a few mistakes there. <coughs> The line. Try to flatten that line out. Oh well. It'll do. Dogs are outside at the moment. They're really enjoying running around and playing and lying in the sun. It's, uh, shadows come over the front now, but um, it's beautiful out the back. I was just out there before with the boys. Very nice. I could have stayed there for the rest of the day, but I wanted to get on and get this done. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to leave that to dry. Put the lid back on. And I'll go and clean up those stencils and I'll be back in a mini.